Homeowners and business owners are discovering just how hard a financial hit the flooding is causing them. And several of them tell us they either don't have insurance or it's not covered because they don't live in a floodplain. They tell me I don't have insurance. There's nothing's covered. Homeowners doesn't just give you flood insurance if you're not in a flood zone. But if you find yourself in this situation, the Department of Insurance and Financial Services says people should follow these steps. Document um, their losses and contact um, their county's emergency management office because um, aggregating those costs might um, lead to federal funding for folks in the, in the area who don't have flood insurance. That's Anita Fox, the department's director. She says most homeowners and renters insurance policies do not cover flood damage. But for those who do have flood insurance and still aren't receiving coverage, she says to contact your insurance company and find out what's causing the issue. Look at your policy and make sure that you jump through all the hoops. You don't want to do anything that might jeopardize your coverage. You know, there are certain deadlines for doing things, uh, certain ways that you're supposed to report a loss. Do all those things. She also says you can reach out to the Department of Insurance and Financial Services for help in navigating the situation by contacting them over the phone or online. But she says now is the time to prepare yourself. Even after this disaster, and it's always hard to talk about what you, sh what you would do, but it's time to plan for the next one as well. Even if you have insurance, one of your responsibilities is to prevent further damage. So if there are things that you can safely and quickly do, you ought to be securing those from further damage as well. In Saginaw, Jonathan Jackson, WNEM-TV5.